even pendulum is a system of arrangement that is in simple harmonic motion what do you mean by simple harmonic motion is like acceleration of that motion is directly proportional to displacement and is in opposite direction of course it is in oscillatory motion without oscillatory motion these two conditions cannot be satisfied itself so if these conditions are satisfied with a particular device called simple pendulum what do you mean by simple pendulum to a fixed rigid support a light weighted inextensible string is attached at the bottom of that a heavy point sized mass is suspended this system is called a simple pendulum when you displace this slightly with a certain force it makes an angle theta to the vertical and the bob swings about the initial position called mean position and it will even go like this and it will be keep on oscillating and that kind of arrangement is called simple harmonic motion in this simple harmonic motion length of the pendulum means from the point of suspension to the center of the bob there is a given length and this is the length of the pendulum time period is the time taken to make one complete oscillation we have derived an expression which relates to both of the mass time period equal to 2 pi into root of l by g where g is the acceleration due to gravity at a given place so from this very clear 2 pi is a constant g is a constant so time period is directly proportional to square root of length taking this into consideration if you draw a graph between that two you can call it graph as an lt graph what do you mean by lt graph is on x axis you take l on y axis you take time period of that graph so uh, there is a proportionality relation the graph is a kind of a parabolic curve this kind of a graph that's lt graph if you anyway square this relation t square is directly proportional to t as i have squared the root will go r l is directly proportional to t square thus we can draw another graph called something like lt square graph so what is that lt square graph looks like is if you take origin x axis y axis length on x axis and t square and y axis if you take any particular values of l and t square and if you draw a graph that will be a straight line passing through origin so these are the shapes of lt graph and lt square graph now i want to just go further and i want to draw a combined graph of these two what i mean by combined graph is length on x axis versus t as well as t square both on y axis right so how does that graph looks like right the same graph origin x axis length y axis time then i will draw the first graph like this now let me take t square also on y axis the same l on x axis then i will draw this second graph overlapping the first graph in this picture yeah so this is a t square graph so what you could have noticed is at one point these two graphs are intersecting each other at particular length this value at a particular length the graph is intersected means what at this point for both the t as well as t square l is same so what we can say at the point of intersection at intersecting point of this combined graph sorry l t is equal to t square so you cancel one t it becomes one second right so the graph intersects when the time period is one second what happens when the time period is one second 
we know we had derived a relation for time period as 2 pi into root of l by z put that t equal to 1 2 pi into root l let us square this equation it becomes 4 pi square of l by z you know g value is 9.8 pi is 3.14 its square is also approximately equal to 9.8 so they can be approximately cancelled cancel then 1 equal to 4l r l equal to 1 by 4 meter you know 1 meter is 100 cm it is 25 cm so if the length is 25 cm l and uh, Uh, t and t squares graph will get intersected, whose time period will become one second. That's why when you are doing a experiment in the lab, probably you have done this experiment in the lab. You are asked to take a length. So people ask you to take length of the simple pendulum in lab. Yes, starting from fifty centimeters. So because this is not a good case, the case where this will not get intersected with each other, so they will ask you to take fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, and so on, and ask you to find out time period practically, right? Or acceleration due to gravity at a given place. So this point, this graph tells you, this experiment, this uh, video tells you about LT graph, LT square graph. What if these two graphs are intersected with each other? Theoretically, they can intersect at a time period of one second. That is possible when the length of the pendulum is only this value is only just twenty five centimeters. That's how we have to understand this value. Thank you for watching.